Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Car Help For You. So in today's video, um, what I'm going to show you is how to remove and replace the starter motor in a Fiat Punto. So what we're working on today is a 2008 reg. It's the new shape, uh, so it's a Grand Puntos. And the starter motor looks like this one here. And this is an automatic, but I am certain it looks the same in a manual. Um, it just goes off the teeth, which I'll show you in a second. So the alternator is here. You can see the alternator from the top where you are underneath the car. Then you follow the alternator that way and there's the starter motor. So from underneath, you just need to remove these screws just here and the wires. Um, I do advise just take a picture of them so you know how they go when they go back. And then there is a bolt here which needs to be removed. Um, there's one more bolt on the top and the starter motor, you can just kind of wiggle it out. You don't have to put a lot of pressure onto it. Um, if I go to the top now, and I'll show you where about it is. I'm just going to put the phone down for one second. Just so I can get out from underneath the car. Car is on ramps. So we did this job on the floor, not a lift. And um, I'll just show you it one second. So we are on the top of the engine bay now. So like I said, you can see the alternator from the top there. Just get that light in there because it is kind of hard to see it. So that's the alternator there and the starter motor is I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up now because of the angle I'm at but uh da, 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 there's that so the starter motor is just yep there we are so that's the starter motor there it is easier doing it from underneath so we've got the airbox battery battery connectors everything out of the way uh if i get this light there it is going to be hard to see before anyone says your camera quality is bad or whatever it's a nightmare to see but if you do watch the video, it will show you roughly of where you need to be looking. So, there is a bolt. The camera won't pick this up because it is quite in. Um, it's hard to even see it with your eyes. But the bolt is just here. So, it's literally just straight here. And it's in. It is a 13mm. And it's an absolute nightmare to remove. The camera ain't going to pick it up no matter what happens. Doesn't look like the camera wants to get... Yeah, the camera's not going to pick that up, no chance, there's no point. Anyway, um, it is just like I said. So if I put the light on the top of you, it is literally from high view. If you go straight down, it is literally just about here. See this black connector on top of the pipes? If you take that connector up with a straight screwdriver, it's literally just behind there. And then there's another one on the other side, which is underneath, which I showed you previously. So if you remove them two, and you remove the connectors, the wire connectors, the starter motor will just drop straight out. So this is the previous starter motor that we have. Um, you can see the part number's visible on it. There's the part number. We picked up our used one just from eBay for about 45 quid. This one, you can't actually smell it, but it has actually burnt out. Burnt out on the car will no longer start. So the way to check the teeth, I'll just show you that one quickly, is if you look carefully, we put a mark on the starter motor just there on the teeth. So the way to check it is count how many teeth your original one has. So if we start there, and you can just, ever so gently, look, you can just turn it. Like that. So just keep turning it, and as soon as you get back to your mark, I know how many this has, so I'm not gonna sit there and count them, but you can bring it all the way back to your mark without a problem. And there's our mark, there it is. So you bring it back to your mark. This one's got nine. The one that we did originally see in the scrapyard, when we went to go pick it up, it only had eight, so it won't fit in this one. Has to be the correct amount that you have. So if you've got eight, you have to put eight in, not nine. Um, if you've got nine, make sure you put nine in. Like I said, this is an automatic one, not a manual one. So one more thing to make sure you do. Someone's obviously had a go at this one, as you can see. Won't be as butchered as this one is. This one, I don't understand what someone's been doing with it. But anyway, we've replaced it, so it's... The old one's not our issue now. Um, the two wires that I showed you at the bottom, obviously one goes onto here, and the other one needs to touch the back. So it's like, uh, I don't, I'm not sure what it's for, but I think it's live and neutral. So live one goes there, neutral one goes there. You don't need to put anything onto this one. This one, on the new starter motor, will have a mark, or the old starter motor's got a mark. Again, the starter motor's not that heavy. Like I said, it is just there, so we are looking. Driver's side, straight there. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.